And that's why this challenge is, from all the one I've done before, the This channel was my third virtual run ever after English Channel, the Inca Trail, and now Mount Everest. But uh, more on that later. If you don't know what a virtual challenge is, basically a route has been created with a predefined distance that you have to run in order to go from the beginning to finish. The distance is fixed and the only thing you have to do is to accumulate the distance in any activity you like. It goes cycling, walking, swimming, anything you want. In my case, I've chosen to do them entirely with running. And all those distances that you accumulate you can put them towards one goal, which is completing the whole distance required to finish the challenge. What is special about the Conquer Challenges app is that first, they give you a lot of milestones to look forward while you're running or while you're preparing your next run. You get postcards that are part of the narrative in order to put your mindset into the challenge. And we'll talk about this because postcards were amazing in this Mount Everest challenge. Also, every 20% of the way, you contribute towards planting a tree. So that's another milestone to look forward while you're planning your next run. Then the community aspect is extraordinary. There is a huge Facebook group where you can ask any question you want and get all the support in the world from amazing people. It's very global. You see people from everywhere. It's really, really, really amazing. And you can also see all the other participants in the same challenge live. So you can see it where everyone is at. If you want, you can even join a team and then you have a special view where you can see all the members of your team and where they are on the challenge. Then when you complete the total distance, you get your medal. Which, by the way, I just received the medal from the Inca Trail, my previous channel. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll be unboxing this baby and maybe we can compare it to the previous one here, the English channel. But let's talk about this specific challenge, the Mount Everest. The total distance is 64.2 kilometers or around 40 miles. And it took me a total of five runs to finish it. Those five runs actually happened to be consecutive. So I finished the whole challenge in five days. And this is only because I'm doing at the moment something that I call the 100 kilometer week where I try to increase my mileage and do 100 kilometers in only seven days. If you are a running nerd like I am and you like to go on Strava and analyze the runs of others, trying to learn from them, I will put in the description the five links to the five different runs I did to complete this Mount Everest challenge. Every kudos is appreciated, by the way. But before we go further, let's run a little bit, shall we? is a very special challenge for me. It is one of those things that a lot of people have on their bucket list and it's a dream for a lot of people that only a very few will be able to achieve. And to be perfectly honest, it is on my bucket list, but if I'm being realistic, there are very few chances that one day I'll be able to go to the summits of the world. One of those very few people actually is Killian Jornet. I'm reading one of his books at the moment, so it kind of resonated perfectly with this Everest challenge. The book is called Above the Clouds. <laughs> and the funny fact is he has climbed Mount Everest twice in a single week. So the time it took me to complete this virtual challenge was time for him to climb up and down twice Mount Everest. I'm not sure if I like this guy, honestly. Just kidding, love him. Talking about books, you know how much I like to run while listening to audiobooks. So just to give you a double recommendation this time, I started this challenge listening to the first book of the Millennium Trilogy, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. But I finished it while I was running this challenge. Therefore, I switched to the book number two, which is The Girl Who Played With Fire. Both books are amazing to listen to while running. Honestly, I highly recommend it. If you've never tried it, I'll put a link in the description if you want. Give it a try and you won't be disappointed. And about listening to a story, if there is one thing I would like to come across from this video is that the Conquer Challenges app, they did an incredible job to tell the Mount Everest Ascent story. I believe this is so far the best challenge that I've done when it comes to the storyline. All the information they give, for instance, I love the fact that the closest airport, which apparently only very experienced pilot can land there, it's called the Tenzing Hillary Airport, named after Tenzing and Hillary, 
Tenzing the Sherpa and Hilary the Expeditionist, who climbed the mountain the first. This is so cool, and this is one of the facts that you get in one of those postcards. To be fair, I loved so much those postcards that after I read the first one, I was so eager to read the second one. After day one and two, I knew that my next postcard was 16.8 kilometers away. So can you guess how long I tried to run on day three? Point seventy seven. That's what it took me on day three to get my second postcard, which again throw me through the story and immerse me into the ascent of this beautiful mountain. The second postcard was also amazing. It's all about explaining you all the, all the details and all the temples and the monasteries and all the cities that you pass by while you're climbing on this trail. And this is just amazing. I could feel the lack of oxygen from reading this story. It was really great and it motivated me so much to run further. After day three, I only had 26 kilometers to run. I knew I couldn't do that in a day. Realistically, it, I would be too tired the next day to continue on the 100 kilometer week. So I decided to do 10 one day and 16 the next day. That's it, third challenge in the book after English Channel and Inca Trail, Mount Everest is done. Oh, so cool. Fastest challenge so far. Five run in five days consecutively. Ooh, Ooh that feels good. Overall, I would say that the storytelling is the number one quality of this challenge. I kind of felt the same way when I was wrecking the Inca Trail, but I think they actually nailed it down even better in the Mount Everest challenge. But talking about the Inca Trail, I think time has come to open this medal. So come on, let's go. This medal is incredible. First, it's massive. It's exactly like the, the previous one. Like I thought it was a lot heavier. I mean, it is a lot heavier than I thought it, it would be initially, but now I'm getting used to it after the first one, obviously. But yeah, just, just, just look at the details. This is beautiful. Look at this. I'm guessing there is some Inca symbolism there. Not really big on Inca civilization, so I can't really analyze any of the symbols there, but God, I love this medal. Absolutely love it. And it even says virtual marathon, actually, because the distance was 26.2 miles. That's just, just awesome. By the way, this is my question of the day. If you had to choose between those two, which one do you think is the best? I will say which one I prefer in the next video, which in my case, is going to be Mount Fuji. And by Mount Fuji, I will probably have received the medal from the Mount Everest. So if you want to keep seeing those reviews and also if you want to see the unboxing of this challenge, the Mount Everest, the medal seems really, really nice. Just look at it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. Next challenge will be Mount Fuji, which is also a challenge very special to my heart as we've been with Margot traveling to Mount Fuji already but never actually got to do the ascent. But anyway, I don't want to spoil the next video so stay tuned and right now I'm gonna leave you with the previous challenge I did which was the Inca Trail. Get this video a quick like if you enjoyed it and as always thank you very much for watching and until next time.